Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing something fun. I'm going to compare two face palettes, one by Natasha Denona, the Daria palette, and one by Too Faced, the Naturally Pretty face palette. These are The Naturally Pretty palette is a newer release by Too Faced. Um, I had a good time doing it. Can you tell which is which? One side of my face is all Natasha Denona, the other side of my face is all Too Faced. Can you tell? Is there really that much of a difference? It's hard for me to tell whether there's a huge difference. Um, I was impressed by both palettes. I'll let you know that. The cat's out of the bag. I was impressed by both palettes. I'm going to go over both palette, palettes and then you'll go into the video and it'll show you the uh, application and how each one went on and what I thought of them at the end. So This is the Natasha Denona palette in Daria. It has cream products up here. It has powder products up here. I will swatch everything for you. This is Diamond, Blush, and Glow. So Diamond, Blush, and Glow. These are all the cream products, so I'll swatch those first for you. Diamond, Blush, and Glow. There's those three products. No, oh, no. Diamond, Blush, and Glow. Ooh, there's those three, diamond, diamond, blush, and glow. And then the next three are diamond powder, blush powder, and glow extreme. Diamond powder, blush powder, and glow extreme. This is a very large palette, and it's very sturdy. There's those three colors. I'll swatch them right here. Oh, lots of glitter in that color. So this is Diamond, Blush, and Glow. Beautiful palette. And on this arm, I'll put the Too Faced palette. The Too Faced Natural, Natural Face palette. Beautiful. I mean, look at the packaging on that. Absolutely gorgeous. It's just so pretty. It has a little heart as the clasp. It's gold. And there's this palette. So pretty. Um, I'm going to start on the top row, which is Starlight, Pink Wink, and Sunny Honey. That's these three colors. And I'm going to swatch. Of course, I'm used to swatching with my right hand. Got to swatch with my left. So one, two, three. There's those three colors. One, two, three. A lot more color in this palette. And then Satin Sheets, Pink Sand, and Tropic Like It's Hot these three colors. This is supposed to be a bronzer. I don't think so. It's very shimmery. I would use it as a blush. So pink satin sheets, pink sand, and tropic like it's hot. Those three colors. Very pretty. The highlighters on this are, here's those three colors. The highlighters on these are very duochrome. The one color, the starlight, is like a pink to coral and the other one is a gold to a pink. So this is a gold to a pink shift and this is a coral to a pink shift. Very pretty, gorgeous colors. The bronzer in this is a little bit orange but very pretty. I thought it'd be fun to put these two head to head but once I got into the palettes I realized there's a lot more differences in the two palettes than similarities. There are some um, the blushes are pretty similar, but that's where it ends. The highlighters are completely different. I did pull this look off. I hope that I don't go out looking like a crazy woman today. I'll just have to lead with one side of my cheek or the other. But I'm very happy with both palettes. I was um, pleasantly surprised that the Too Faced palette performed as, as good as it did. Um, and I knew I was going to like the Daria palette. I mean, that was a given. I love Natasha Denona blushes, and I love her highlighters, so... No shock there, but I I thought it would be fun to do this video, compare two things, and see is it worth it spending the more money for this palette, or can you get similar looks right out of this palette? I'll s submit uh, full photos of both palettes so that you can see them, co color comparisons, right next to each other, and... Uh, I really think that's all I have to say for this. Let's get into the video. Let me show you what's what. Which one again do you think is it? Is this the Daria palette? Or is this? Is this the Too Faced palette? Or is this? 
Can you tell the difference? I am going to be putting one of the palettes on one side of my face, one of the palettes on the other side of the face. Now one of the drawbacks to the Natasha Denona Daria palette is that there is no, there's no bronzer in the palette. So I'm going to use my Marc Jacobs uh, bronzer on one cheek and then I'll use the entire natural palette on the other cheek. I think in this video I have on, so today on my eyes I have the Man Eater palette by Tarte. I picked this up solely because Makeup by Tiffany D raved about it so many times. Um, it's a beautiful palette. It will be be beautiful for travel. Uh, I have quite a few of the colors on my eyes today. I have this color in deep in my crease. I have this color in my uh, crease as well, higher in my crease. I have this color as the very first color I laid down. I have this as my brow bone highlight. Um, I have this all over my lid, this color right here. And then I have this color on my inner corner and right, right in the very beginning part of my eye. I absolutely love this palette. It smells so good and it's an absolutely beautiful palette. Every time that I've used this eyeshadow palette, I haven't had it for that long, but every time that I've used it, it has given me a beautiful eye look. Very natural, subtle looking. I know not to some people, maybe not natural, but to me it was really natural. It's a really quick, easy eye look to do. I thought it would be perfect with doing this little challenge that I'm doing. Okay, so because the Too Faced has a bronzer in it, I'm gonna use the bronzer that's in the Too Faced palette. The Daria palette by Natasha Denona does not have a bronzer, so the closest that I could find was the Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced. I'm going to use that on this side. So this side of my face will be the Daria palette. I hope you guessed that. And then this side of my face will be the Too Faced palette. I'm hoping you guessed the Daria side simply because it's expensive and is it worth it to keep it or not. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. I'm going to start on this side of my face. I'm going to use this bronzer brush. Okay, so I'm going to bronze up this side of my face and then I'll do the other side with the Too Faced palette. Just doing the normal bronzing. I think I may have found a Holy Grail Primer Foundation set. Uh, the Tatcha, the Silk Canvas, this stuff is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. The packaging is gorgeous. That combined with the Cover Effects Power Play Foundation, I'm in N30. Um, that's what I have on my face today. So far, I am blown away. I, I think this may be a perfect combo together. We'll see. Back to what we're doing. I'm done with the bronzing on this side. That was my chocolate soleil. And now I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Natural Face and I'm going to use Sunny Honey, this color down here. This color is far too shimmery. And I'm going to, whoa, very pigmented. I'm going to bronze up right under here. It's a little bit more orange than I would go for. If uh, I were using this palette, I most likely would use that as a blush instead of a bronzer, because I like it to be a little bit more brown. I guess it's very similar, I don't know. I'll have to look at it closer in the mirror when I'm done. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go on to blush. Now the Daria palette, it's the Natasha Denona Diamond and, Diamond and Blush palette. There it is in all its glory. I have been dying to pick this up. I've talked myself out of it about four times and you know, the sale comes to an end and you panic and you gotta buy everything. So I picked it up. In the Too Faced palette, the pink wink color, this pinky color is pretty close to the Glow Extreme and this palette right over here. So I think that's what I'm gonna wear. Those are about the most similar that I can pull out. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do the pink wink on this side with Too Faced and then I'm going to do the Daria palette and what's that one called? How Unique Powder Blush on this cheek, okay? I'm going to use two very similar brushes. This is a Sonia Kashuk blush brush and then this is the Violet Voss blush brush. So I'm going to use them on each cheek. We'll see how this goes. This is Pink Wink, very pretty. I like that, that's very pretty. And then on this cheek, I'm gonna use the powder blush. Dust that off a little bit and onto the cheek. Now, I know a lot of people using this, oh, I love that. It has a sheen to it that's so pretty. Um, a lot of people will use both cream and the cream 
blush and then build it with this, but there's no cream in the Too Faced, so, and definitely it has a sheen to it, whereas this has a more subtle sheen, this has got a lot more sheen to the cheek. Very pretty though. On to highlighter. On this cheek, I'm going to use Satin Sheets, this color right here. And then on this cheek, which is the closest, I'm going to use Glow Extreme, this color right here. I'll just grab my highlighter brush. This is Satin Sheet by Too Faced. Oh, do you see that? It definitely has a very yellowy undertone that I did not expect it to have. I'm, wow. We're gonna have to buff that out a bit. Okay, on to Glow Stream. Let's see what Natasha Denona brings to the table. This is much more Look at how beautiful that, oh my. It's beautiful. This is not, this is pretty, but it's not the color I was going for. That is the color I was going for. It almost looks like my face is wet. Of course, I went a little crazy, as usual. Easy enough, I'll just buff this out. I definitely look like I have two different highlighters on. So it's kind of hard to compare because they're definitely different colors. Um, this is exactly, shut the door, that's what I want. And that's not even the diamond one um, that you can put on with it. The diamond one it would be even more bling. It's pretty. I don't know if you can hear the rumbling outside, but my husband went outside and started his motorcycle. He's taking the motorcycle to my daughter's game. Okay, so this is the completed use of both of these palettes. I think this is very pretty. I just think that this color Satin sheets, I don't know if you can really see really close to that. It looked like it was gonna have more of a um, pinky shift. I didn't realize it was gonna be so gold. So when I put it on, it was kinda like not ex exactly what I was expecting. Um, maybe I should have swatched all of these before I used them. And this color right here, done. I love it. And then it's got this little container that closes up. So. I will finish my makeup. I'm gonna put on some lips. I'm gonna finish buffing in my um, my loose powder and then I'll be right back. So this half of my face is with the Natasha Denona Daria palette, the Diamond Blush palette in Daria. And this half of my face is with the Naturally Pretty by Too Faced. It's the face palette. This is really pretty. If, if this is what I wanted to go for the day, I really do like it, and I think that during the summer, this will be beautiful. Um, so I do like both of them. So this is the completed look. I put on my Becca Hydra Mist Powder. I buffed that all over my face. I put on uh, Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury as my lip liner, and then I used a little Papa Don't Peach, right? Yeah, I used a little Papa Don't Peach as my lip gloss. I really love this lip gloss. It smells great, and it really lasts. It looks really pretty. I think it looks pretty with this look. I loved both palettes and I won't get rid of either one. I liked both of them. They're a little different. They're a little bit more different than I had expected them to be, but I really enjoyed doing the video. It was fun to compare two palettes. Do I feel like you need to spend um, the amount of money on both palettes to have both palettes? No, you could do one or the other. Um, you could do the Natural Pretty palette. It's $44, totally reasonable by Too Faced. But if you're a collector and you like Natasha Denona, this palette is amazing. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, subscribe down below, and until next time, have a great week.